This is your yoga sculpt workout where we're gonna to be toning and sculpting your beautiful muscles while also invigorating our minds. We're gonna be using yoga blocks, so make sure you grab those and then hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and like this video so that I can keep creating amazing workouts just like this. All right, let's get started. We're gonna begin on our knees right here on the mat. Grab your yoga block and I want you to place your hands on either side of it like this so that all five fingers are pressing into the sides of the block, okay? So no little pinkies off or thumbs, really make sure that they're pressed right here. Okay, so this is one of my most favorite exercises because it really, really works the arms like crazy. So you're gonna reach the arms out forward in front of you just like this and you're gonna press the palms into the block. So I want you to squeeze that block as much as you can. For those of you who have done my handstand course, Get Upside Down, I'm sure you are starting to recognize this exercise because it really does help with understanding where your arms go for handstands and strengthens your upper body. So make sure that your elbows are not flared here, but rather they're pulled in, okay? And then raise up that arm just a little bit. So now it's at an angle upward here. Okay, so we're gonna hold here, keep pressing. This is a great way to strengthen the shoulders. Again, draw the elbows towards each other. But at the same time, now I want you to think about lengthening forward. Instead of letting this kind of come towards you, think about reaching forward. Reach, 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 reach. Yes, right there. So it's called protraction in the shoulder blades where the shoulder blades actually expand over and around the rib cage. Forward, good. Now take it up just a little bit higher. Press the palms into the block just a little bit more. Expand through. I want you to stretch those biceps even as they're working. Good. Hold it here. Keep pressing into the block. Keep pressing, pressing, and then take it up just a little bit higher. Whew. And all the way up up overhead, nice. Now hold it right here. Now this is gonna really help you strengthen those arms, press into the block, and then press in, and then stretch longer. Stretch, 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 good. Now here, I want you to wrap the shoulder blades forward. Biceps are back, wrap the triceps forward. Good, so triceps are forward. Nice, Woo. I feel those triceps working. Try to lengthen out through the arms even more. Stretch through the arms, press the hands into the block, reach and stretch. So it's this constant pressure as you stretch. Strengthen and stretch, right? That nice balance of the two efforts. Whew. One more time, stretch it up a little bit higher, a little bit higher, press into the block even more. Think about wrapping the triceps forward even more and then release. Whew. Did you feel that? I know, you can feel the whole arm working. It feels really good. Those are hard muscles to get to. So if it kind of felt funky the first time, come back and do it again, okay? So we are going to keep moving on. Grab your block, take it with you. We're gonna to come to our backs. We're gonna have some fun here. <laughs> I guess it depends on your definition of fun, right? Okay, so let's start here with the block. You're gonna be right up onto your toes. Press into that block again. So it's not gonna be so hard on the arms. It's really more about the core here. And you're gonna lift up, bring your chin in towards your chest like how I'm doing. Press the belly button down towards the spine and press the hands firmly into the block just like this. Good, so you're gonna stay up on those toes and you're just gonna lift the block up over the knees. That's the goal, is to lift up, release, up, release, good. Little crunches right here as we get into the core. So as we do this yoga sculpt class, it's really about sculpting the body, of course, engaging all these little muscles, building lean muscles. And the difference between this and just like a yoga flow class is that we're gonna be doing more reps, as you can see, right? So it's more of a focus of doing a move over and over again to really target and narrow in on these muscles and to strengthen and lengthen. Good, let's do five more. Five, whew, four, three, two, one, and release. Good, okay. Holding onto the block right here. 
Just take a little breather. And then we're gonna draw chin in towards our chest. This time we're gonna take the knee up and we're gonna thread the block through. Tap it down, thread the other side, just like that. Okay, thread. And now try to take the foot up as the other foot comes down. Adds a little bit more of a challenge right here. Threading it through. And that block adds just a little bit of weight into the core, right? Just the perfect amount. Keep it going. Eight more right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Hold it right here. Lift up higher. Little pulses again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Good. Whew. Okay. We're gonna do that one more time. Rise on up, chin in towards your chest. You might even feel these neck muscles working. That's good. And we're gonna thread it through just eight times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Now we're gonna take the legs and we're gonna take the block actually behind the legs and you're gonna use the block kind of like as a little leverage right here, okay? So hold on to the block, stay in tabletop and I just want you to crunch up just like this for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold here, see if you can take the block off of the legs and reach forward here just like this. Legs in tabletop for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release the head down. Whew. I know it's a lot in the core, but that's what you're here for, right? Okay, inhale in. We're gonna do the same things, legs straight up. So have the block behind you, and then you're gonna pull yourself up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach the arms out. Now reach it forward, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release, good. So now we're gonna do scissor kicks and we're gonna thread the leg through with straight legs, okay? Or thread the block through, just like that, okay? So let's roll on up, take a big inhale in. Exhale, curl it up, and we're going to scissor, scissor the legs Thread the block through the legs just like this. And switch, and switch, switch, and switch. Good for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good job. All right, we're gonna do one last thing here. We're gonna take the legs all the way down, reach it all the way up, touch the toes, and lay it back just like that. Keeping the block in the hands, just like we've been doing this whole time. Hands are really pressing onto the edge of the block, okay? All five fingers on, on the side edge. Okay. I'm also mentally gearing myself up for this, okay? Here we go, let's go for eight. Let's see how we do. Let's go, eight, touch the toes, seven, Up. Hold it up here, a little pulse it out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Roll it on up. You did amazing. We're just getting started though. Okay, so let's take a few cat cows here to just open up our chest, everything we just worked. Really good core section right there. Inhale in and exhale, push the floor away. So our core is ready to go as we focus now more on our legs. Good, 
push the floor away. Nice, now we're gonna hold here, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, tuck the toes under, and we're just going to press the floor away, and you're gonna hover, getting back into those arms again. Think about the block, right? The same position here, biceps forward, triceps back, wrap it underneath you, protract in the shoulders, everything we worked with at the beginning of class. Hold it here for three, two, and then rise it up to downward dog. One, good. So again, all that positioning we did with the block, right, that should really help you with your downward facing dog. So right here, picture that block, picture the hands around the block, triceps forward or triceps rack, wrap back here, and then the biceps are back, good. All right, we're gonna walk it all the way up to the top of the mat. Good, bring the feet together. And right away, we're gonna find our chair pose. Good, holding it here. Look down at your toes. Your knees should be behind your toes. Abs are pulled in. Lengthen out through the spine right here. And then sink down. Rise it on up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful, let's take a big forward fold. Inhale in. Exhale, forward fold. Now we're gonna grab onto our block. All right, you might have seen this come in. So hands are gonna go in the same position on the edge of the block. And now this time we're gonna take our child, our chair pose with the block. Same position, press the hands into the block there like this. Really think about wrapping the triceps forward and the biceps back by the ears. Sit it back. If you work the block like this, I'm telling you, it will change your body. It will change your positioning. It'll make you so strong. So even if it's uncomfortable, stick with it. Reach the arms forward. Reach, reach, reach. Sit it back even more. For three, for two, one. Stand it up. Just take a little breather. Okay, take a big inhale and exhale. Reach the arms forward, hold. Chair pose. Let's do this. Always saying yes, yes I can, yes I can. Even if maybe you don't believe you can at first, you will and you can. Press back. Let's hold. Now let's bring the hands towards our chest here just like this and let's take little pulses. This block just adds just a little bit of weight right here. Good. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rise it up. Whew. And take a nice little forward fold right here. Good. Now we're going to turn the block so that it's forward. And we're going to step the right foot on top of the block just like this. Now I want to make sure that you are comfortable here. Okay, so find a nice little triangle position and we're going to take a nice lunge off of the of the block and stand it up really working the legs here we're going to do 10 lunges just like this for 10 nice little box lunge where the knee lands over the heel the knees underneath the hip right eight seven six five four three, two, and one. Hold it right here. Hold, hold, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Switch legs. Left foot on top, right foot behind. I like to first start out here, finding my position. Lower down once, find your position and rise back up. Make sure that the hips stay square, abs are pulled in. Here we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it right here, little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good. 
Okay, move that block out of the way for just a little bit. Bring their feet to the top of the mat. Take a big inhale in, exhale, forward fold. Hands to the floor. And let's step it back into a high plank pose. All right, now we're in high plank. You are so strong. Just remember that. Good, hold, hold, hold. Now I want you to think of the block in between the hands. So you're actually pressing the hands towards each other even when you're in a plank like this. Push the floor away. Biceps are forward, triceps back. Good, now let's place the knees down and let's do a nice slow chaturanga all the way down to the floor. And then you're gonna press it all the way back up. Good, shoulders are down. Draw the ribs towards, or the elbows towards the ribs. All the way down. And up two more times, just like that. Down and up. And then release all the way down to the floor. Good, okay. So have your block handy. All right, so we're gonna work on some back work right here. So we're gonna use the block in just a little bit. I want you to reach the arms forward. And then I want you to lift the arms up towards the sky as the chest lifts and then lower down. Good. Now, when you're here, you're going to try to expand through the shoulder blades. Good. So that means you're protracting in the shoulder blades, reaching forward, lifting up, lower down. Again, do that again. Three more times. Three, two, and one. Now, you probably guessed it. If you wanna add on, you can grab the block and do the same thing. If it's too much with the block, just let the block go. It does add a, quite a bit, so be patient with yourself. Let's do it five times, here we go. And one, good. Okay, how'd you do? It's pretty tough. So let's do that one more time. Press the hands into the block. Really think about reaching the fingertips towards the water, okay? Pretending like you're out here with me. And let's go. The toes can just stay down on the ground. Five. And one, good, okay, put that block to the side. We're gonna place the hands. Make sure that they're right by the ribs right there. Squeeze the elbows in, rise on up. Take yourself up to the upward facing dog. Eventually press the floor away. Thighs lift off the ground, abs in, and then back to down dog. Beautiful. All right, let's take a few vinyasa flows right here. So you're gonna just walk, step, hop, or jump to the top of the mat. Lift up halfway through the crown of the head. Exhale, release down. Inhale, rise up to stand. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to the floor, and then take your vinyasa right here. So chaturanga to upward facing dog to downward dog. Good. Two more times, just like that. Reach through the crown of the head, waist down, rise on up. Exhale, release forward, hands down, step it back, high plank pose, chaturanga, upper facing dog, and down dog, good. breath so you can take a child's pose. Good. Inhale. Lift the right leg up. Exhale. We're going to step it in between the hands. Stay high on the toes. And then right here, grab your block. And 
and rise on up into your crescent lunge. Right away, reach the arms up overhead with the block. Now right here, we're gonna just take another little lunge like we did before. This time we're having the block in the hands instead of underneath the feet. And we're gonna rise up just like this. So we're just taking little lunge, lunges right here in crescent for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now come back into your crescent lunge. We're gonna lean it all the way forward so the chest is hovering right over the thigh and then fly it up into your warrior three. Now you can take the block overhead for a challenge or you can keep the block right here in front of your chest, okay? We're gonna hold here for about five breaths, really working on our balance, posture, core, length, all the things right here. Good, now release the block all the way down to the floor. Woo. And then take a standing split right here. You can keep using the block or bring the hands to the floor. Grab onto that back leg. Release, good. Now staying right here, we're just gonna open ourselves up into our moon pose. So the hips are just gonna open up just like this. We're gonna do a little prep work though so that you can really see the difference between the hip movement. So the hand is on the block and you're gonna swivel the hips open, swivel the hips closed. Good, swivel them open and then swivel them closed. So notice the hip bone faces towards the mat and then the hip bone faces out to the side. Good, two more. And open it up, hold it here in your half moon pose right here. So you can keep using the block. Remember you can take it onto the different levels. You can also play with lifting off of the block. See how that feels, Just play with your balance, see where you're at with your body. And let that bottom foot really fight for it. <laughs> right, that's how it really gets strong. Feel all those little toe muscles working like crazy. you can go ahead and grab for the back foot. Add a little bit of a curve here and a stretch. Go ahead and release. Place that foot down and reach it back into your warrior two. It's a lot on the front leg. Catch your breath and reverse the warrior. And this time we're gonna straighten the leg out and we're gonna come into a pyramid pose here, or no, sorry, triangle pose here. So triangle here, you can use the block just like this, or you can take it down a level. It's really up to you how deep you wanna go with it. Make sure whatever you choose that I want you to think about lengthening out through the crown of the head right here through the spine. To not shorten yourself, but see if you can find length from your tailbone to the crown of your head. Good. And let's reach it around. Take your vinyasa right here, high plank pose, chaturanga. Upward facing dog and down dog. Hold it here for just a moment, a couple of breaths. Good. So 
Lift the left leg up, inhale in. Exhale, step it in between the hands. Try not to let the hands lift. And stay up high onto the back toes. Grab the block. And let's reach the block out in front of us. Let's do our crescent, active crescent lunges right here for 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, come into your crescent lunge and then fold forward right over the hip. Make sure the hip bone stays back, chest comes over the thigh and then we're gonna fly it all the way up into our warrior three. Beautiful, so right here the hip stays down, the toe points back, the crown of the head reaches forward. And then maybe, if you wanna add that extra challenge, reach the arms forward. Big deep breath, reach longer, and release. Woo, gosh, that's so hard. Okay, let's take our standing splits. Grab that back leg, and just take it to wherever you can. No comparing ever. Remember, if you haven't gotten my Splits 30 course yet, and you're working on your splits, definitely that's the place to go to get your splits. Make sure that that's linked below for you too. Okay, so grab that block and we're gonna practice opening up the hip. So open up the hip to the side, that hip bone, and then bring the hip down towards the floor. Okay, here we go. For five. This is really good for hip mobility. It's like a whole hip stretch right here in the hip socket. Four. And also strengthening as well. Three. Two. And one. Hold it here. Make sure that you're really pushing out through the back heel. Right, I'm like stomping the wall behind me. Nice. And then play around with the left hand. Can you lift off? Even if it's just for a second. See where you're at with your balance. Try not to always just go to the same position. That bottom leg is fighting for it. Let it burn, let it get strong. That's the body getting stronger right there. Relax the shoulders and maybe you can grab for the foot. Open up through the chest. Nice little stretch here. Whew. And carefully release. Slowly, gracefully. Whew, oh my gosh. Back to warrior two. That leg is burning. But it feels so good, right? Just using your own body weight to sculpt and strengthen. Take a reverse. And then let's stretch it out into our triangle pose. So you can grab the block here again. I like to, even though I can touch the floor, I like to still use the block to help realign my spine right here. Right, because I do tend to kind of crunch my back and stick my booty out. So I have to always remind myself, okay, lengthen out through the spine right here. See if I can get longer first in the spine and use that block to help create that space in the body. Good, and you want to make sure that you're drawing up through the thigh and the kneecap here, just like that. Big inhale in and exhale release. Let's take our vinyasa right here. Good. Let's walk ourselves up to the top of the mat. You can hop. Maybe a little air time there. All right, so let's place the block here down in front of us. Now we're gonna do a little challenge here for the end of class. 
We're gonna step that right foot up in front of us again. Just like as if we were in our crescent lunge. All right, so we'll do crescent lunge off of the block here. You're gonna fold forward over the top of that thigh. Now this time I want you to fly all the way up and balance your warrior three on the block here. Good. Hold it here. Lengthen out through the spine. Lengthen out through the core. Beautiful work right here. Now we're gonna add on, we're gonna add a little challenge. Pull the knee in towards the back knee and then you're gonna fly it back up into your warrior three. Five times, just like that, five. And back, Whew. it's too much with the block, just come off the block, four. And whew. three, two, and one. Hold it right here, hold your warrior three. You can do it, you are a warrior, never forget that. Hold, 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 Whew. and then stand it up. Nice job. Take a big inhale in. Last thing here is we're gonna grab for our back foot, reach the right arm up, and extend long into your dancers. So maybe your dancers is just here. Maybe it's a little bit higher. Wherever it is, it's perfect. All right, step off the block. Okay, so now let's go into the other side, our little finale here. All right, so let's first find our crescent lunge off of the block. Inhale in, find that core. That's why we did all that core work there, right? This is where all the balance really comes from here, right here. Inhale in, imagine yourself flying gracefully up and that toe just lifts right up off of the floor into your warrior three, beautiful. Hold here, make sure that that hip stays down. Leg is strong, pull up that kneecap here, engage the quad. And let's take our five little Shiva squats right here for five and up, four, three, two, and one, reach, you're doing amazing. Hold, 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 you can do it. Try to lengthen out through the spine, lengthen out through the toes, pull the core in. Get long, 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 and then stand it all the way up. Staying balance on that one foot. Woo, you can do it. Now let's take our final pose, dancer's pose here together. Grab for that foot. Reach the arm up towards the sky first, and then kick the foot into the hands. Reach through the fingertips, extend long through the fingertips, and then just bring your chest down as far as it feels comfortable for you. Let the arms stretch open. It's okay, if you fall, you just get right back up, right? Hold for three, hold for two, and one. Slowly back up, Whew. shake it out. Just bring the feet into the earth for just a moment. Bring the hands to heart center, let the breath calm down. Just notice how invigorating your body feels now. Every cell is turned on, working harmoniously together. Just take that all in. And then blink the eyes open, take a nice big inhale in, exhale. Forward fold, hands to the earth, step it back. High plank pose, last chaturanga right here. Upward facing dog to downward facing dog, good. All right, bring those feet up and underneath you. We're gonna take a nice forward fold to finish here. So you have two options. You can either use the block here to kind of rest your head on like this. Okay, or you could take it like this and stretch it out here like that. Or if you wanna go a little bit deeper, you can take the block behind the legs and reach like that. All right, so you've got 
two options right here to rest your head or here or the hands over the legs. All right, so we'll just hold for about a minute. This is really important for you to just allow the body to release and stretch out. So it's just one minute. I know you can do it. Try not to push pause and go away. Stay with me here. Really fully allow all the goodness of the class to integrate in. Keeping your thoughts positive, keeping them focused on you. All the wonderful things that you're doing in your life. Just reminding yourself that you're doing the best you can. Good, one more big deep breath in. And release, nice work. Beautiful, beautiful job. You did amazing. Take the hands to heart center. Bow your head down towards your heart as a symbol of gratitude. Sending love to yourself and a loved one and then everybody else. Namaste. Amazing work. Make sure that you like this video and comment down below. Let me know what the favorite part of this video was for you. And then subscribe to my channel so that I can keep making amazing workouts like this. Love you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.